this coffee sucks. So, today is a beautiful, warm, sunny fall day. And I'm just hauled up inside my house right now. Because the sun is a deadly laser! Actually, I'm just inside right now because, um, my, my car sucks. If it were up to me, I'd be doing like a little fall hikey hike up north. But I don't trust my garbage car to get me there. And that kind of sucks. So instead, I'm gonna spend this lovely Sunday afternoon finishing another unfinished project. Mm, give me that! Oh, oh, oh my god! We're gonna finish this long forgotten painting that, um, is in fact broken. Thanks, Lola! You're still a cute dog. I need to start by fixing the shape of this. Apparently I need a new saw blade. But it's smaller. So, fun fact about this painting. It used to be a ferret gate. I used it to block off one of my living room doors so Neptune wouldn't go ferret to where she wasn't supposed to. Unfortunately, it is only a thin piece of MDF. So while it was perfectly ferret proof, it was not strong enough to withstand the force of Lola's fat head. Anyway, I think my original plan for this painting was to do it all in black and white, and I'm not sure why past me wanted to do that. Because honestly, colors. I also don't know why past me didn't prime this before drawing, but future me is cursing her stupidity. I will say that future me very quickly realized why past me abandoned this painting, because this took me FOREVER! I don't know what in my right mind made me want to paint a million tiny little squares like this, and to think the original version of this painting was much bigger. Perhaps Lola's fat head did me a bit of a favor. What's that one Spongebob meme? One eternity later. Okay, it didn't really take that long. But I think I could have gotten this done a lot faster if I did one of two things. I either needed some better brushes because my brushes are janky. Or I should have used my Posca pens? Posca? Posca? I swear everyone pronounces it differently. I don't know. They're acrylic paint markers. Which is what I started using after getting halfway through this and growing incredibly frustrated with my brushes. Not that I didn't get frustrated using my poster pens, because even though I was now working faster than I was with my brushes, I was running into a whole new set of frustration. This is the part where not priming became problematic. Because Posca pens, they're juicy boys. And I kept running into this problem where the more I built up layers of the Posca pens, the more saturated the MDF got, and it eventually started to pill up like paper does when it gets too wet. The other big problem I had with the Posca pens was that I just don't have enough of them. Most of the ones I have are a medium sized bullet nib, so they do a nice job covering big areas quickly but they're pretty crappy at getting into small tight corners, which this painting has a lot of. I ended up going down a bit of an acrylic paint marker rabbit hole after this, and now my Amazon cart is full of like 
20 different sets of paint markers that I want to try. But I'm also having a bit of an existential crisis because I have so many art supplies that I already don't use and I really don't need to spend any money on anymore. I'm also just trying really hard to not buy things and I'm actively trying to downsize all of my stuff I currently have because I have way too much stuff and all the clutter makes me so anxious and I hate cleaning. And the more stuff you have, the more you have to clean and pick up. And will I ever really achieve my dream life of living in a van while I explore all the national parks like a little forest fairy if I keep spending my money on material items that do not bring value to my life? This is a serious first world problem that I'm having. But I don't have time for an existential crisis in this video. So we're just gonna move on to me fixing the problems that I had fixed. Which includes the fact that I didn't find a piece of MDF before I painted on it. To try and combat some of the issues I was having with the MDF filling up, I sprayed a few coats of a clear finish over everything just to try and seal it. Oh look, here's a clip of me. Spray painting. Yay. And that actually worked really well. It definitely solved some of my problems. Uh, not all of them. I'm still not living in a van and living life like a little forest fairy. But you know, baby steps. Um, this is a bear skull, by the way. This thing in the middle. It's, it's a bear skull. I like bears. A lot. Why am I painting a bear skull like some trippy fever dream? I don't know. I started this too long ago to remember what my head was thinking. I do know that I originally drew this bear skull digitally. I definitely didn't know at the time of painting it how I wanted to go about painting it. As I'm sure you can see from the amount of times I painted and repainted the outline here, Eventually I started layering watered down paint, kind of like watercolor I guess, but it wasn't watercolor, it was just acrylic paint that watered down. Anyway, it looked cool, it was fine, everything's fine, except it's not really fine because I have officially run out of commentary. I just don't know what else to say about this painting. So let's talk about my desire to be a little forest fairy because I'm being so for real when I say that I want to be one with nature. I want to be outside in the forest, getting my feet dirty, exploring mountains and rivers, and just not living life like a conventional adult the way society expects me to. In all seriousness, as of right now, my three big goals for my 35th year on this planet are to own a camper van get a job at one of the national parks out west, and dip my toes in the Pacific Ocean. And I really don't care what anyone thinks about that. How do I plan on achieving these goals in the next year and a half? Great question, I have no idea. It's all a work in progress. Right now, I'm mainly focusing on downsizing. Admittedly, I've gone through like five different minimalist phases in my life over the past few years. And they've all just kind of fallen off a cliff for one reason or another. Will this time be different? I am not holding my breath that it will, but I am looking at it with a much different perspective than I have in the past. For starters, I'm not about to dump all my shit at the donation center because some ultra-light minimalist at YouTube University told me it was the key to financial freedom and achieving true happiness. I've kinda come to realize that's sort of bullshit. Instead, I'm focusing my energy on actually using the stuff I already have, which is where these videos I've been posting about finishing some of my unfinished projects have come from. So yeah, uh, we'll see what happens with that. I finished. I I finished this. It's finished. I'm done. I like him quite a bit. There's things I wish I could improve, but you know what? That's okay. He's done. He's finished. I finished this. So he's gonna go on the wall. 
I think eventually I'm gonna build a frame for him because the edges are super janky since my saw is super janky. Still need to buy a new blade for that. 